Hello and welcome back to Dust in Elysian Town. We are in uh, Abydus Forest. I told you we'd be going to conquer this one, so here we go. Hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. I know I'm twitching at the same time, so whoever's watching on Twitch, I've included my microphone. They're having to deal with the commentary along with you. Do you hear something flapping? What? Uh, that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Right. Wait, you're right. Look out! We've got company. Bring it on. And that's what that's good for right there. When he starts glowing red, you're getting you're using that damn hurricane shit too much. The storm power. Oh, skill gem. Uh let's see. Uh, let's go defense, that'll work. Can't mess with this, baby. That special ability does make it quite easy to kick these guys' ass. But you know, if you've ever played any kind of RPG, if you've ever been a World of Warcraft player, you know there's always some kind of bore or something that keeps spawning. Diablo had it. You know, all these, all the good games did. Um, and they would just constantly keep spawning, so that way you could keep beating them, and you'd only get like five experience points or some kind of small bullshit like that. Same deal with the other does, you know. These monsters will keep respawning if you want to keep going back and forth and killing them. They kind of, after a while, it's just like, damn, you know, give me a break. But, um, it's worth it. I want to go up top real quick and see what's up there. These guys. Called messing up some shit. All right, up, up, and away. There's some more flying turds. Ah, oh, look at there. I wonder if he's got our thing. Because if he does, I'm gonna buy him. Well, let's take care of these turds. Get your ass. There we go. Let's go see if he's got those ampies real quick. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Creepy little dude. Alright, uh, let's see. There we go. Look at, he's got four of them now. We needed five. So we're gonna clear him out. Your transaction is most appreciated. Thank you. All right, so before we go any farther, guess what we're gonna do, guys? That's right, we're going back to, to that uh, guy that's got the Australian accent, which you didn't see him, but you will in a minute. And uh, we're gonna take him to Empire. So we can help them, we can help them go That's right. Ooh, 187? Come on. Damn, almost broke 200. Shit, yeah. Put the ass beaten to the nth degree here, baby. Mm. Another thing is you can go through here and battle and battle and battle and uh all right here's the dude you see how he's got a green leaf over his head because we have what he needs now here are those materials you asked for fail great here's your payment if you're willing i could use your help again 
I'd what does he need now? Our weapons. Beast spears, wild primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Okay. Eight beast spears. So let's see, look at our materials list and see if we have any beast spears, which we have three of them. So guess what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to go see Creepy Dude. Go see creepy dude and sell him a bee spear. That way we can get some more. It'll take a while. We'll do some more work in the forest before we get that one done. Ah, oh, you got it. And you'll get like multitudes of blueprints and shit like that. It's just like, like I said, it's just like any other RPG. If you've ever, if you've ever played the Diablo series, which right now I wish I had on PS4 because I could really go for some Diablo right now. I've got it on PS3, but I can't really share it as much as I like to. And I try to bring you guys games as much as possible. Um, but I may crack open the, the Bound by Flame uh, series that I have. It, it looks like it's going to be a decent RPG. Um, when it comes to RPGs, I do believe in user-friendly abilities. I do not like ones where I gotta sit there and, and become an alchemist and a fucking chemist and a damn mage and try to figure shit out on my own. I like it to be a little user-friendly, you know. So I don't mind thinking a little bit when it comes to like putting in runes and weapons and shit like that and upping your uh, upping your attack and stuff like that and your luck abilities. But, other shit just gets a little too, too much. Alright, here's dude. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we're gonna sell him one of the beast spears. There we go. So that way he has it. Transaction is most appreciated. And when he restocks, we'll go we'll go back to him. Let's see what's down here real quick. Oh shit! Apparently I found a camp of them. Right on. Circle, X, square, and square. Lots of nuts. Imp oil. Don't ever be caught outside without your imp oil. You might get a sunburn. Alright, let's see here. I'd like to get to the next safe point before I end this video. And I have to thank uh, the PlayStation guys for letting us now use Spotify. It's so nice to be able to listen to music in our headphones as well as the gameplay. You don't have to worry about anyone else hearing it on your mic or anything like that. You don't have to worry about YouTube having a big deal about uh, copyright issues, you know? Third party stuff. So I'd say it's really nice. Alright, we're going down. should be able to see by now how addictive this game can get you know I know it's a lot of hack and slash a lot of button pushing you know not too much on the strategy part of it but when we get to the bosses it will be all right I gotta figure out where that bomb went 
really got to come all the way down here. Ah, here's our save point. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this video, and we will see you back momentarily in our next one. So this is Snapshot reminding you to keep on gaming.